got to do is see the, the balance of the foot, and that's what he's doing now with the thing. I don't know whether you've ever seen that or not. I asked him to do it, he said, I've done it enough, I don't have to. Okay. So that's when my wife said I'm about to get somebody else to start shooting. Now, your question was, should we do the injured foot first? Okay, here's what can create an injury. A horse can be out of balance on the front, create an injury in the back, or he can be out of back in the back, create an injury on the front. So all four, when you get a look, a horse got four feet. So when I look at me, I got two. One bad leg, I was another like carrying a pocketbook. That means I tell y'all to go to mall. If a lady is carrying a pocketbook on her right shoulder, what does it do? Well, it, it goes down, no, it comes up. To counterbalance, that's the way the brain works, to counterbalance, so you're actually putting more weight on the opposite. And when she's carrying a child, if she's carrying it on the right, she'll shift her weight to counterbalance and carry more weight on the left side. So you can create an injury on the left side. You gotta look at everything when you look at Dan, these are things we'll look at in the master shoer test. This is shoeing is, I look at that and ask questions. That's the reason I want the question. Yeah. Just as far as, as far from the heat being forth front to see over on the side view, mm -hmm. it's all right there for the pair. And here's something else you can, uh, just kind of look at, too. Look at the back. See how, I mean, you can see that right in between the wheels and coming down, that number 13, long distance, you know, where the saddle sits on, you know, it is all tight, tight, tight. Yeah. Okay, and that, a lot of that kind of stuff is coming from the saddle. The, the start and then combination of people. Well, yeah, and that left hip had yeah. more blood flow. Coming yeah. back down into, uh, mm -hmm. I guess that was the 23 again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, look at the heels. Uh, I mean, Did you hear that? Those, heels, those heels are higher on this side. Those are lower. Yeah. Whole lot lighter. Whole lot. Yeah. Whole lot. Yeah. 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 Where you said that? Oh, hi. That right side was getting more blood flow. You said that the right hand was the one that had the heat. All right. Because it's using its left more, not using the right as much. That's where really you like blood flow. Yeah. But, but see, look, look, look at the heels on here. Okay, this is the end of When I go to touch it, you know, you bought your phone, 4, 5, 6, and then you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, all the all that dirt that we need to see. Yeah, well, you know, Well, this one with the injury here, there's a definite lack of blood flow all through here because it's not using it as much as it should. So the other side actually has more inflammation as far as more heat, so you're hotter on the, on the good side because it's bearing more weight than you to try to keep it off the heat. And he also said that this one when he fell was the one that got hurt. That one he fell? This was the one that fell. Yeah, she aggravated that. She went this way. Like she's favoring this one, but she's trying to stay off that one too. You don't let him do a I can see he's bobbed that left hand. This well, over here looks good. Well, both rears are bobbed, and the shoe is set way to the inside, which as far as balance in the center of the bony structure, the whole foot is to the inside about a good inch and a half. Ooh.
side, which it's using this one more compensating for the injury on the right rear. But you, there's more cold the here. Yeah, it's leaning in, you know? Right, right. And then the front, basically the same, hotter on the outside on the right front, hotter on the inside on the left front. Now, as far as those lines that, which Dad was saying a minute ago, one, it's showing us how far the hoof is off balance, as far as inside the outside of each particular hoof but it also shows where the center of the bone is in conjunction with the foot. The center of your toe of your foot should be dead, dead in the center of your bony structure. I don't know, but it's all right. I know it looks to me like it's a lot more. Can you end up getting in? Look, we're bringing here all of this. 
you know, the, the chestnuts and, and this over here, and uh, this way looks like it's long. Right. Oh, a male? And I'm, I'm just wondering if it's because that lateral curve is the that, that's what it appears to me without putting it in Does it you? Am I the only one to see it right now? So this horse right here is going to the left rear leg is higher than in the left front leg is higher, which is unusual. The the yeah. the 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 Jackson, the confirmation of the force that should be in the outfit. The player should be in the outfit. Okay, you want me to look at it? Yeah. You, you I believe it. I always look at your passing too, where you got a long, short, upright, or what? The, uh Oh, I'd like to head that horse. I wouldn't mind having him now. But I'll move that. See how high? Yeah. Denton out here a couple years ago he shoes all your world-class reigning horses and Barry showed me something that I didn't know in fact I got it filmed he showed how to pick a horse see they go him and his wife are world-class they have a lot of them that wins the world and they keep 10 horses all the time and they they go pie a, a young horse they know what to look they get the bloodline and they get the right they're out in uh, Skull Valley, Arizona, that's where Link's fixing to go. Now, I always thought the more sickle hawk a horse was, it makes a better rainer. Not true. They, uh, more than what he said. But you want them a little sickle hawk, but not over sickle hawk. The, uh, but anyway, I'm going to make that available. As soon as we get that, I'm going to put that on DVD. He's, uh, boy, he can more about a rainer. Yeah, go about it. Ooh, that's what, hey. Hey, you got it. <laughs> this right here, you see? Go ahead. This right here is directly related to the high-low condition in the front feet. Okay. Say that again. This right here is directly related to the high-low condition in the front feet. Okay, visual exam that we did. Okay, the left leg is longer than the right. Okay, 
The left heel is higher than the right. Okay, and that's, you put a high heel on and, and a flat heel on the other side and go around and you're going to be hurting too. And that's just what was happening with the hook. that be why she spins to the left a lot easier she does to the right? Uh, she hates going, I think it's... Some of it may have to do with C1 up here. I, I haven't, I'm not finished with my exam yet. Okay, this is all day. Got a lot of rib problems. If we was working on it, we'd probably find a lot more in to it. Gluteus maximus. In the belly of the You see each one of those stress points that uh, there, there's a lot of problems in I promise you more than that. You want me to Three. 
by let me see. Just slightly on the uh, superficial on this side, but it's not anything like the other.
But once you, the more stress you add, the more inflammation, the more swelling you get. So as far as right now, I wouldn't be able to tell you 100% if there's actually any ligament damage. It's just strain and stress. It's what's creating all the problems, the swelling, and then the lameness problems all the way up through the entire body. All I tell you, that's right there. You don't have a list go issue like most of them. Mm -hmm. It's how you start. Yeah. But now she, when I get on her, right before it happens, she can look at the equivalent of the way way your feet are right now is taking your left boot, putting on your right foot, and your right boot, putting on your left foot. It's pretty well the equivalent. Wouldn't you say that? Yep. What's your suggestion? What's your suggestion? Proper shoeing. Trimming or shoeing? Either one. Proper trimming to start with, because you stay in off of it for a while, let the soreness work out. Uh, trimming to start with, trying to get the foot back shaped where it's supposed to be and actually get her motion going where she should. Because the way her foot's shaped right now, with her confirmation, when she breaks over, she should break over on the inside toe. Right now she's breaking more towards the center. Because her entire foot's going to the inside, so she has no choice but to go more to the center. Which that's torquing her entire bony structure all the way up. Keeping that foot in that way. Get her moving in the, more in the direction she's supposed to go, being barefoot, she'll actually start wearing that hoof the way she should, and that will help make it easier to shake that foot back around when it's time to, to put shoes on. Okay, this muscle right in through here is the longest muscle in the horse's body. Okay, and this muscle right here is the one that the saddle is going to sit on. Right. Okay. And uh, all of these muscles back in through here, that is all the power that is going to drive the, they're all connected to the, the hocks and the stifles, and uh, they come up and connect into the lumbars up through here. And so this is all a very important part because it's the part that drives them and, and it also carries. Stay right where you are. Well, congratulations. We sure enjoyed you uh, coming over and, uh, and being with our clients. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate everything you did. You're a fine teacher. Oh, I learned a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Robin, it was a real pleasure to have you uh, come to our class.